What's up everyone, Zach Slife here, and today we're going to be counting down my top 5 favorite amplifiers in the Fractal Audio Axe FX. So the main reason that I wanted to make today's video is because I've been diving deeper into the Fractal Audio ecosystem and trying different amplifiers that I've never played before. I wanted to see what else was really in the unit besides just different variations of the Mark IIc Plus, like the JP2C that I use in almost every video. So what I've been doing is watching a lot of different YouTubers, watching a lot of different demo reviews and product reviews, and playing different amplifiers in different music stores to see what really spoke to me, and then I wanted to come back here at home with the fractal and see if I could recreate those sounds without dropping the two to five thousand dollars as some of these real life amplifiers tend to cost. One of the biggest advantages to the fractal audio ecosystem is that you have all of these incredible amplifiers at just the touch of a button and you don't need to drop six or seven figures into owning most of these amplifiers in real life. And one of the best parts is that you can mix and match the amplifier heads to different speaker cabinets and it really opens up a whole new world of tone. Remember that so much of your final tone is that speaker cabinet, that impulse response. That's the final destination for your guitar tone and if you cheap out or you use the wrong speaker or the wrong cabinet or the wrong microphone you might not get the best sound that your amp can provide. So today we're going to take a look at what my five favorite amps are and we're going to talk about why they're my favorite amps. Real quick before we get started, according to my analytics, 85% of you who watch my videos on a regular basis aren't subscribed. Please take two seconds to hit that button, especially if you appreciate the videos I put out on a regular basis. The YouTube algorithm can be really weird. You might be seeing all my videos because they keep on getting recommended to you because you've seen one or two of them in the past, but you might not actually be subscribed. So again, take two seconds, hit that button. I really appreciate that. With that out of the way, here comes amplifier number five. The Deluxe Tweed is based on the Fender Tweed Deluxe Amplifier, which was produced by Fender from 1948 to 1966, and it's not to be confused with the modern day Deluxe Reverb that we're all familiar with. The Tweed era was the earliest period of Fender amplifiers before the blonde, brown, black, and silver face models were introduced. The tweet is based on the cloth covering that was used at the time, and these amplifiers tended to break up earlier and in some of the later models that had more headroom and were cleaner. These amps were known for their warm sounding overdrive. The Deluxe was the most popular of all of the tweet amps at the time and features the very famous 5E3 circuit. <laughs> What makes this amplifier very unique is the fact that the two volume controls are interactive with each other, which means as you change or alter one, the volume and or gain of each channel is affected. So you have to play with both of the knobs as they're not just a gain and volume, but rather both knobs affect both the gain and the volume. And the tone knob also affects the gain and the volume, so you really have to mess around with these knobs to find the exact tone that you're looking for. It makes it very versatile in the studio. Famous players that use this amp include Larry Carlton, Mike Campbell of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and also Don Felder of the Eagles. <laughs> Next on the list is the Div-13 FT37, which is based on the Divided by 13 FTR37. Fred Tacone of Divided by 13 manufactures each of his amplifiers by hand, and they're easily recognizable by their exquisite look and the iconic triangle at the top of the amp head. The FTR37 is a 37 watt all tube amp running off of six V6 power tubes. The amplifier itself can be switched between full power and half power, and usually has built-in reverb. The two channels have two inputs each, and the first channel is the amp model that we're using today, which has a very big clear Fender style voicing. And we're using the low mode, which means there is no mid-game boost engaged. <laughs> The 
second channel on the amplifier is based off of a Marshall and the amps channels can be blended with each other which makes it a very cool unique amp sound. Famous players of Divide by 13 include Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top, Jackson Brown, and YouTuber Rhett Scholl. <laughs> Coming in at number three on my list of favorite amps is the Class A30W, which is based on the Vox AC30. This is a iconic flagship model from Vox that came to life in 1959 because their existing AC15 just simply wasn't loud enough. It doubled the amount of perceived volume by doubling the number of power tubes in the amplifier. The AC30 runs on EL84 power tubes. Originally it had EF86 preamp tubes in one channel and ECC83s in the other and right now the amplifiers that are produced use the ECC 83s and 12AX 7s. <laughs> These amps are mostly known for running a 212 speaker cabinet, which gives you plenty of volume and plenty of headroom, and the amps have beautiful breakup and edge of breakup tones. Famous players of the AC30, of course, include the Beatles, Brian May of Queen, and the Edge of U2. <laughs> Friedman HBEV2, based on none other than the Friedman Brown Eye 100. Dave Friedman used to mod amps for famous guitar players back in the day, such as Eddie Van Halen and Steve Stevens, and now builds his own hand wired amps very successfully. They're medium to high gain all tube amplifiers with really fat, full saturated tones. The original amp that this was based on was called Marsha, but after receiving a little nudge nudge from Marshall for the name, he changed it to the Brown Eye, and it's what most people consider the ultimate modded Marshall player. Lexi and the second channel is what we're using today which is called the hairy brown eye that has a preamp triode gain boost and has a very fat thick rock tone it is a single input amplifier running el34 tubes at 100 watts and famous players include chris shiflett of the foo fighters jerry cantrell of alice in chains and phil x of bon jovi <laughs> Coming in at number one, which should be no surprise to you who are familiar with my channel, is the USA JP2C Plus Red, which is the third channel of the famous Mesa Boogie JP2C. Mesa Boogie have been around since 1971, founded by Randall Smith in California. And of course, this amp is based off of the classic Mark IIc Plus, which is one of the most famous amplifiers in all of recorded music history. The JP2C in particular is John Petrucci of Dream Theater's signature amplifier and is based off of all of the best iterations of the 2C+. It's a 100 watt 6L6 tube amp with three channels, two graphic EQs, MIDI, reverb, an effects loop, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> It is a rock and metal player's dream amp, and it is also the only physical amplifier that I own myself. Famous players of the 2C Plus in general include Metallica, Dream Theater, and Prince. That just about wraps up today's video. You have to let me know what your favorite amp from today was in the comments section below, and let me know what kind of amps you guys are using in your own modeling and profiling units. 
you like the amps that I use, you guys use something a little bit different, let me know. As always, if you want to download today's sounds, you can check out my email address. It should be somewhere in the description. Those are always available for purchase. Any sound that you hear in my videos, I'm always happy to work out with you guys. You can check me out here on social media. Those links are in the description box below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me more than you can possibly know. Until next time, everyone, keep on practicing and keep on rocking. Thank you.